Welcome to the Unknown Road, where we rediscover the abandoned and retell local legends. A few towns away, or a few states away, hop in one of our muscle cars and come along for a ride. Please share and subscribe if you have our passion for exploration. I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while now. There are a lot of people who have inspired me to make my channel and get into exploring urban legends, but none have more so than Cam Hale and Kyle Filson of a podcast known as Expanded Perspectives. What I'm making here is pretty much a review of their podcast and uh, everything they do, and I'm just going to roll in some footage of some explorations that I've done and stuff because I don't really know what to put here otherwise. I never really listened to podcasts or radio shows before theirs, other than the occasional coast-to-coast -coast AM when I'd catch it real late at night driving. I graduated in 2013 and a couple years later got assigned to an Air Force base a couple miles, a couple hours from home. And uh, so I found myself looking for something to listen to when I got tired of the Zeppelin and Rush playlists all the time. I came across an episode talking about UFO sightings and I was instantly hooked. I went back to episode one and every drive up I'd knock out an episode or two. The banter between Cam and Kyle and the awesome stories they find make a great combination and they add unique commentary to each story or sighting. The intro music is badass too, a mixture of Zeppelin's No Quarter and a bassy rhythm from a band known as Pretty Lights. Cam and Kyle are both avid outdoorsmen who live in the great state of Texas, which is my home away from home. They both hunt, which makes for interesting commentary anytime there's a sighting of some creature or UFO in the woods. They take the stories lighthearted whenever possible, and these two guys just seem like they'd be a blast to hang out with. I have found that the best time to listen to their podcast for me is driving any long distance at night. A lot of times I'll take my old 84 Corvette, take the roof out, and just drive through some old country roads and go through the woods and just, it's a creepy atmosphere, it really makes it immersive. One of my favorite things about their podcast is the fact that they're not like a lot of the uh, paranormal podcasts or unexplained podcasts or what have you. They don't just go right along with every single story and uh you know i mean they talk about some wild stuff from time to time but they typically will let you know up front you know hey we're not saying this is 100 percent real or not you know they, they have a skeptical side but they're still kind of hopeful like like there's i believe there's weird stuff out there for sure and i think that they kind of think the same thing but they're not just jumping into every story head first saying oh yeah this is for sure a real thing and all that that's just uh, become a major problem with with any of the UFO outlets or, you know, ghost story outlets or anything like that that you have on the internet, especially. Even though I feel like they dispute it, these guys are incredibly intelligent. They go from talking about stories or eyewitness accounts, and then they'll switch right on into talking about ancient history and the research into it that they have done. They've really opened my eyes to a lot of uncommon knowledge regarding early America and who was here well before Christopher Columbus. They also go into a lot of the ancient artifacts that have been found in locations they just shouldn't be in, and much more. These guys just simply aren't your run-of-the-mill podcast talking about one subject and quitting. They continually mix it up. If you get to listen to their podcast and uh, you blow through it like I did, you might look into becoming an elite member. And that's a second string of podcasts that they make, and it's for the uh, paid members and stuff. And it's got a little bit different content. Typically it runs a little longer, but they really go in-depth on some of the stuff they're talking about. And you know, I, I've been through all of those too. Like I say, I have restarted recently just listening to everything because I made it all the way through and uh you know I, I they can't make it as quick as I can listen to it and that's understandable you know they got full-time jobs and stuff but it's only five bucks a month and uh, these guys aren't in it for the money they're just in it to to do it as a hobby and to kind of meet cool people and get to interview them and stuff and these guys are legit you gotta you gotta at least give them a chance Anyways, if you guys are watching and you're into podcasts or stories of the unknown, look these guys up. I can't think of a better one to listen to. In my humble opinion, they blow coast to coast out of the water. That's about all I got for this video. Thanks for watching.